This video is sponsored by Invite to Elements. Hey, what's up guys? This is Vossi from Film9VisualFX.com and welcome back to my another brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a really cool trendy logo animation inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's see what we will create today. Can I get 500 likes for this tutorial? If yes, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Okay, so first create a new composition. Let's call it logo animation. And I'm going with 1920 1080p, frame rate 29.97, duration 10 seconds long, then click on OK. Okay, let's add our logo and project files. You can download these project files from link in the description box below. Okay, now select our logo and place it into this timeline. Then make it a little bit smaller. Something like that. Now right click, then choose pre compose, then select mobile attributes and rename it to logo. Now create a background, so right click new, then click on solid. Then color, you can choose any color you want. I am going with this palette blue color. Then click on OK now go to now select this logo layer then go to effect and preset window and search for uh, find edges now select this effect and simply apply onto this logo layer then again go to effect and preset window and search for simple choker now simply select this uh, effect and apply onto this layer and chalk mat set it to then again add uh, brightness contrast and brightness value set it 25 then add um, Gaussian blur and variance set it 0.2 perfect now select this layer then right click then choose pre-compose then select mobile attributes then rename it to logo white then click on ok now go to effect and preset window and search for Vegas now uh, select this effect and apply onto this layer then blend mode set it transparent and color you can choose any color you want i am going with my logo color design better projects faster with Envato elements get unlimited downloads of beautiful and ready to use template for your digital projects create more with premium design assets video templates mockups fonts presentations photos audio files and more all with commercial license for extra peace of mind Inverter elements will make any projects better while saving your time efforts and money get unlimited downloads with Inverto elements and start creating today uh, segment set it three and uh, width set it 2 and end opacity set it 1 and hardness set it 0 0.540 now go to beginning of this animation then set a keyframe on length and rotation then length, length value set it 0 then go to around 2 seconds now length value set it 1 then go to around uh, 2 seconds 14 frames and rotation value set it 100 degree now press U on your keyboard then select all keyframes then press F9 to make it easy ease. perfect now press T on your keyboard then set a keyframe on opacity then go for a few frames and opacity value set it 0 perfect now select this layer then press ctrl plus d now select this layer then change the width amount to 0.80 
then press U then go to this keyframe and then change the length value to 0 0.520 perfect now press S and scale amount set it um, maybe 107 looks good and also change the color perfect now press u and then adjust the opacity looks good to me now select this second layer then press ctrl plus d again now select this last layer then press u now select this opacity keyframe and then press delete and opacity set it 100 now select this layer then right click then choose pre-compose then select mobile attributes and rename it to shadow now click on ok then go to effect and preset window and search for cc radial fast blur then zoom set it brightest and then center and then change the center position to something around here perfect now go to effect and preset window and search for fill now select this effect and apply onto this shadow layer then change the color looks good to me now select all layers then make it 3d by clicking here now create a new camera then click on ok then go to beginning of this animation then press p on your keyboard and then go to around two seconds then set another keyframe then go to beginning of this animation and then decrease the z amount very high something like this now select these two keyframe then press f9 to make them easy ease then open graph editor and then change the graph curve looks good to me okay now go to project window and create any another composition let's call it glossy logo then click on ok now select this logo white composition and place it into this timeline then select our reflection map then place it into this timeline and put it below and then change the layer track map to alpha mat ok now go to effect and preset window and search for cc glass now select this effect and apply onto this reflection map then open surface then bump map set it our logo white then uh, uh, softness set it 50 then height set it 100 and then displacement map set it minus 160 then go to light and light tab set it point light and light height set it 100 then go to effect and preset window and search for cc blobby lies then simply select this effect and apply onto this layer and then go to blobness then blob layer set it our logo white then uh, softness set it maybe 15 and cut away set it 45 looks good to me ok now go to project window and then select our logo comp and place it into this 
timeline now select this reflection map layer then change the layer and move to screen okay now press D then set a keyframe on opacity then go for a few frames then set it to 0 now select these two keyframe now select this last keyframe then press F9 perfect ok now go to logo animation and then select our glossy logo comp then place it into this timeline then make it 3d by clicking here then go to beginning of this animation then press T then set a keyframe on opacity then opacity value set it 0 then go forward few frames then opacity value set it 100 now select this uh, glossy logo layer then drag it forward something like this perfect okay now create a null object so right click new then click on null object now select all um, layers and then paint it to null one now go to around two seconds then set and then select this null layer then press p then set a keyframe on position then go forward few frames then change the y position something like this now select this to keyframe then press f9 then open graph editor and then change the graph curve okay let's run to view this looks good to me okay let's create a um, text layer so right click new then click on text I type in adidas.com let's make it a little bit smaller Now select this layer, then paint it to null 1, then press T, then set a keyframe on opacity, then set it 0, then go forward few frames, then opacity value set it 100, then select this two keyframe, then press F9. Our animation is complete, press 0 to ramp view this. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial, have a great day and I will see you in the next video, till then peace out.